Hi, this is Felicia from His Daughter, and today I am going to be making two different kinds of soap. I'm going to be making a patchouli soap with a little bit of orange in it and our hippie soap. Um, but because those aren't a, they're not as widely popular as our other soaps, that's why I'm doing two different soaps in one process. If you want to see how I prepare my oils, the lye, and everything, you could check our uh, Grace um, handcrafted soap video, and it goes more into the preparation of the oils and the lye. Um, but right now we're going to be starting our soap. We have our melted oils, and here we have our lye solution, and they're both about 95 to 100 degrees. So we are going to just slowly pour the lye into the oil. And then we are going to blend it until it gets to trace, which means you could see a trace in the soap. And then we'll separate it out and make it two different kinds. So now, since we're doing two different kinds of soaps, we're going to do our patchouli first. And I'm going to move these down here. So um, there's about 100 ounces in each bar. So I'm going to measure out my soap at 100 ounces, tear it to zero, and we're going to pour it in ever so slowly. over. I definitely want to be more precise. No. Alright. Let's see. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, that's good. So we're going to move that away. So this is just going to be no color. We have turmeric and um, charcoal that's hanging out but this one is just going to be I have to do a little bit more rearranging I'm going to set this I'm going to set this a little bit back here just so I don't I just want to handle one soap at a time and we could do that so we're going to add our patchouli with a little orange is how we make our patchouli bars. I love patchouli, but I think that orange just really completes the scent and softens it and adds just such a nice combination with the plate. Okay, so Is a root it's made from the root that's in the earth so it's very grounding very relaxing very calming and orange is also very relaxing too so it just it's good for your skin a lot of people don't like it but people who do love it love it they're passionate about it and I would fall into that category <laughs> Just pour it right in in our prepared molds. Okay. And if it goes a little bit older, I mean over, <laughs> um, I'm a little bit older, that's why I can't get my words. Um, I'll just put that back into the pot, the hippie pot. Okay, that's a nice bar of soap. We're just going to keep it plain. We have our little patchouli purists who like. No decoration, no glitter, definitely not. I think I can get a little bit on the end. It's, it's one of my absolute favorite soaps. Okay, so we're gonna, so 
smooth this out, get the other pot and make her happy. So here's our unscented pot. And because it, there's just a, probably a tiny little bit of orange, it's not gonna really hurt that tippy at all. Because hippy consists of patchouli, lavender, and a little bit of lemongrass. Because lemongrass could really overpower, but I just love the combination. And when you wear a hippie, you initially smell that lemongrass, but the patchouli is what really remains. So I'm gonna pour in our hippie blend and we're gonna mix it and then we're gonna divide it. We have turmeric here, which is very healing, good for inflammation, and then charcoal draws the toxins out of your skin. And that's how we naturally color this hippie bar. Um, because most people who love hippie are purists. They don't like any kind of mica, no glitter. They're just salt to the earth. Like me. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> but I just, it's just such a great, earthy, wonderful scent. I love it. on scents. We definitely make sure that it's very well scented but not too much and that the scent is lasting. So you can smell a hippie bar a year from now. It's going to smell amazing. Hot swirl it and I'll show you that. So we have our charcoal and then we we'll get rid of these guys. And then we have our turmeric, which we're gonna mix that up first. And then you'll see we'll pour it all back in the same pot. So we're gonna mix this real quick. So the charcoal and the turmeric was already mixed with a little olive oil so that it incorporates really well into the soap. <laughs> Hardening, it's getting thicker as we work. Okay. Don't want to waste anything. To the pot. I haven't even stirred it. I just add it all in. See? The charcoal. Yeah, one teaspoon of charcoal has the surface area of a football field. So it's all these folds and it draws the toxins to it. It's completing its molecular orbit cellular orbit. It's so cool and it really is just wonderful for your skin. Any kind of toxins or anything, it draws them out of your skin. And turmeric is great for pain, inflammation, and clarifying. See, we're just pouring it right in. And then I'm going to minimally stir it a little bit. Getting every little bit. And 
see, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna stir it. Just get in, get in the deep. And we don't wanna over stir it. So I'm gonna pour a little bit into each of the two and then we'll get it uh, into, cause there's gonna be underneath is gonna be pretty white, even though I really, I minimally stirred it. And it's messy, but it's, it looks like wood grain, doesn't it? So that's gonna have a little bit more white. I just think it's so cool. Wait, you try to see what we need and where we need it. Get these bars even. And it will not turn your skin black or orange, I promise you. Sometimes it leaves a little, you could see a little, you know, left of the charcoal at the, in the shower, but it doesn't stay in the tub. It doesn't leave a ring around the tub. And it smells wonderful. I'm just getting every little bit out. We're gonna hit it up again. rattle and roll these bars. Okay. And this one's a little sloppy. I'll just go around the edge. And we trim them once too. We gotta bring him on down. A little high there. Okay, so we are just gonna see how they're now they're thicker. See how quickly they start to set. We will let them cure probably I'm thinking 48 hours in these molds when you add charcoal it just takes a little longer for the bars to get really hard enough to get out of the molds but this guy could probably come out tomorrow um, but like I said it's wonderful for your skin I know a lot of people don't like it but it's so grounding relaxing and wonderful for your skin if you have severe cracking on your skin patchouli is awesome for it um, so yeah, and we will cut them. And once we cut them, uh, we'll be able to show you how beautiful the inside of those bars look. Now that our patchouli soap has been sitting for a few days, one of the other, his daughter employees, Carolyn, is going to go ahead and trim the edges. Again, um, excuse any noise that you hear. Uh, as you've heard before, we are a fully functioning retail shop and we do have customers in the store right now. Carolyn is now going to spray the bar with alcohol as to avoid any sort of white film that may occur during the curing process. Carolyn is now going to be showing us how she cuts the patchouli soap. Carolyn is now going to be trimming our hippie soap. Carolyn's now going to spray the bars with alcohol to reduce the white film that has settled during the curing and saponification process.
Here is an example of our patchouli bar after curing. So it will take about two weeks or more for it to be fully cured. It just depends on the soap. So there's that, but it will be available on our online store at hisdaughtershop.com. And here is an example of our cured hippie soap, which has this beautiful swirls in it from the turmeric as well as the charcoal. And that will also be available on our online store at hisdaughtershop.com. And also make sure that if you purchase something off of our online store, you use code YouTube with the letter U when checking out for 10% off. Thank you.